हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल द क्लाउड इंजीनियरिंग आई होप यू हैव गोन थ्रू माय अदर वीडियोस वेयर आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट वेरियस ए डब्ल्यू सर्विसेज एंड मेनली द ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम फॉर डेटा इंजीनियर्स सो आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ दैट डेटा इंजीनियरिंग ट्रेनिंग सीरीज आई एम प्लानिंग टू स्टार्ट ए डेटा इंजीनियरिंग प्रोजेक्ट दैट वुड बी मेनली ए डेटा पाइपलाइन यूजिंग वेरियस ए डब्ल्यू सर्विसेज एंड along with that that will be end to end automated that means as soon as we will upload the data into s3 bucket the remaining processing should happen automatically end to end okay so before we start in case you are new to my channel in case uh, you haven't gone through my previous training videos i would recommend that you uh, subscribe to my channel so that any upcoming videos on any data engineering project or any road map or any other technical stuff you don't miss that so i will provide the description of my previous uh, data engineering training program because that would be a prerequisite for this project because all the aws services which we have talked about in our data engineering training those services will be used here in this particular project okay so let's start like what this project is all about i will try to explain in as simple as possible way so that it's uh, easy for you to understand and not only understanding i would recommend that you create a aws trial account that is free of cost available and then try to do this project practically on your uh, trial account that would give you the confidence uh, that you are comfortable with aws services and now you can combine multiple aws services to create a project okay so just give me a moment i will be showing my video so that you can start on that okay so we have the data engineering project and this would be end to end automated data pipeline input data is stored in aws s3 bucket so as i explained right there will be few aws services which we will be using here i hope you are aware about aws s3 service that is a storage service where we can maintain our input or output data so our project will start from here we will be having some data into our s3 bucket and after that there will be different type of processing so let me show you so you can say that data may contain invalid rows the data you get from third parties or from other uh, sources right it is not guaranteed that every single row is perfect there can be something missing there can be something which is not valid so before we start analyzing our data before we start processing our data the very first thing should we should do is data validation so that we can check whether the data is a particular row is a valid row or it's an invalid row so we will verify that and we have different type of uh, you can say aws services which will help us <coughs> in doing this one so you can see that need to separate valid and invalid rows so what we will do is we will scan our data and after scanning we'll figure out what exactly are the valid rows and that valid data we will be storing separately within s3 bucket so s3 is mainly for our input data our output data even we can maintain our intermediate data so once we have the valid data available on top of that we will be creating some table or we will be doing some analytics on that so everything we will be talking about you can see that auto validation of data as soon as data is arrived into s3 bucket now when i say that we will validate the data is that a manual process no absolutely not we will be creating a lambda function we will be writing some python code the python code is capable of scanning your data line by line and depending upon the requirement it can perform some data validation checks and it can decide whether a particular row is a valid row or it's an invalid row okay and moreover we will not trigger that python code manually i would like to integrate this in such a way that as soon as you are uploading the data into s3 bucket the python code will start automatically the reason being is sometime we are not aware like when the data will come 
what is the frequency of the data sometime data is coming once a day sometime it may not come for next seven days right so i do not want to schedule my lambda function rather we will integrate in such a way in a trigger based manner so that as soon as the data is coming into s3 the lambda function will be automatically triggered okay auto scanning of data to create tables once the valid and invalid data is separated out after that we'll be scanning the valid data to create some table and finally we'll be processing or analyzing the data with aws athena so athena is a aws service that's a serverless service and that is very you can say very easy to use and it is very smartly it can scan your data and it can process and analyze your data okay so we'll not spend much time on the slides the slide is only for a quick uh, i can say start after that everything i will be showing you practically on my aws trial account okay so before we proceed right let's have a quick discussion on the diagram the architecture diagram because the project will work in a particular manner right let's try to understand that so this one is s3 bucket which holds my input data and as i was explaining that as and when you will upload the data into s3 bucket a trigger based invocation setup is already there i will show you how to do that that trigger will be triggering your lambda function lambda function is nothing but a compute service from aws and we will be providing the python code that python code will be analyzing your data analyzing in the sense like it will check for data validation and it will figure out the valid data and invalid data and finally the valid data will be written back into s3 bucket you can use a different bucket or maybe we can create a folder for input data and we can create another folder for output data and we can maintain our input and output both data within same s3 bucket so we'll do that after that you can see that there is a service im rule so with every aws service like lambda function will be performing something right so what exactly lambda function can perform what type of action it can take that depends upon the im rule associated with the lambda function that means we need to provide the appropriate permissions to this lambda function then only it will be able to perform something on aws similarly there is a service crawler this crawler service will be crawling through the data crawling means scanning it will be scanning through your output data that's a valid data because invalid data has been filtered out it will be scanning your uh, you can say output data and it will be creating tables on top of that and again because it is doing something right it is scanning the data so it needs the permission to your s3 bucket that's why im role will come into the picture here as well and finally once your tables have been automatically created there is no manual process after that athena service will be there which will be finally processing and analyzing your data from your tables so this is completely end to end integrated pipeline will start from very beginning nothing is available as of now in my aws account that means starting from s3 account creation and after that uh, you can say lambda function im role crawler athena for everything we will be starting with our practical things okay so that's all about this video i will see you in the next video